resistance. Come! movie here with another super exciting tutorial by the way happy Star Wars day may the 4th be with you <laughs> anyway guys today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do the Kylo Ren's lightsaber effect using After Effects and a third-party plugin but it's free don't you worry <laughs> from videocopilot.net called Saber so if you don't know videocopilot.net you definitely should check them out because it's like if you're knowing me but you don't know videocopilot.net it's like you're knowing uh, Hermione Granger without knowing Emma Watson because without Emma Watson, there will be no Hermione Granger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, if you already download the plugin and install it, which is, I'm gonna be uh, giving you the link in the description down below, let's just jump it into the tutorial. Woo! Alrighty guys, so here we are inside After Effects. So make sure you already download and install the free plugin from videocopilot.net called Saber. The link is gonna be in the description down below. And uh, just open up your... After Effects <laughs> and here we are inside After Effects with uh, the footage of course nothing fancy just my brother with the Kylo Ren's uh, lightsaber toy <laughs> and uh, yeah let's just get started so first of all you gotta create layer new solid so we're gonna create a new solid layer just call it um, saber and then click OK whatever color you want doesn't matter and then go to effects and presets and find saber or just find the video copilot folder here and then saber boom and then click and drag it into your solid layer and there you go a lightsaber <laughs> and then you're gonna go to toggle switch modes here until until you find this mode and then change the normal to screen and then now we're gonna change the color to red because uh, well Kylo Ren's lightsaber is red and then boom there you go so there's a preset here so we got a bunch of presets as electric we just uh, look at that so cool and then a lot of lot of presets really cool you gotta try it out yourself but for this tutorial we're gonna be using the hardcore boom and then we're gonna change the color from blue to red there you go and then we're gonna go to customize core and then probably we're gonna change the uh, end size to a little bit uh, smaller because it's uh, Kylo Ren's uh, lightsaber is more like a a, re a real saber, a real, a real, a real uh, sword. So, yep, we gotta try to put the uh, point here, the core, core start, and the core end. Just match it with your footage here, and there you go. And uh, we're gonna make the uh, start size a little bit bigger too, to cover the, you know the toy lightsaber because we don't want to see it <laughs> so make sure you cover it and then the end size of course a little bit bigger too probably to cover it all and basically this is the point guys i hope you understand this is the whole point of making the lightsaber visual effects basically to cover your lightsaber or whatever you're holding <laughs> with this uh visual effects lightsaber and then go to distortion for me by the way I'm gonna go to uh, I think core distortion and then we're gonna change the uh, wind speed so as you can see uh, or, or as you know the lightsaber of Kylo Ren's is kinda you know animated a little bit so it's like it's moving so as you can see here if we if we ramp preview this it's kinda moving and then if you're changing the wind speed it's actually making it uh, move a little bit faster as you can see here like so boom I like that and then we can go to glow distortion and then set the uh, for me by the way uh, I'm gonna set the distortion amount to well basically just play with it I'm trying to just just so it looks cool as you can see here when I punch it to around 50 it looks 
really cool just like a woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> some kind of haze there I, I kind of love it all right so the next thing we are going to do is actually we're gonna only focus on the core start core end and then core size probably and then uh, start size and then um, end size and then you're gonna click U to basically brings up all of the um, keyframes that you have here and then all you gotta do is animate it la 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 move one frames and then la 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 by the way if you want to move uh several frames it's also fine but make sure you check it out because sometimes it's as you see here there you go just fix it a little bit boom and there you go that's basically how i do it and then you can also do it again for the uh, rest of the lightsaber just do the same thing over and over again all right guys so that's it that's how you do the kylo ren's lightsaber effect now the next thing is i'm gonna be teaching you how to change your voice to be like kylo ren's kinda you know voice with the mask on and all that using only adobe premiere pro Alrighty guys, so here we are inside Adobe Premiere Pro and this is how I did the Kylo Ren's sound effects. So basically all of the effects here, you can find it on the effects tab and inside the audio effects folder. Alright, so here they are. So first of all, I use bass. Basically, this is optional to make your sound a little bit more bassy, you know what I'm saying? And I put it on the plus 8 dB. And then um, the second effect is pitch shifter. And then for me, it's, again, it's optional if you already have that, you know, that low voice, you don't have to use this. But for me, my voice is kind of high a little bit. So I put the pitch down for three semitones and then make, to make sure that the voice is not shaky, I turn off the performance preserve here. So like so. And then for the third effect is reverb. And then again, it's optional for me. It's uh, for some reason it makes this sound a little bit better. It, like it sound like it's it's it sound like uh, it's coming from the mask. You know, it's like a voice coming from the mask. So, uh, but I put the size here to only two percent. So there you go, reverb. And then the next effect will be the EQ. Now this is the this is the most important thing. Uh, and from the EQ effect, you're gonna go to edit and then just go to the preset and i choose the 1940s boom and there you go that's how you do the kylo ren's sound effect time to die resistance scum time to die resistance scum all right guys so for the last effect i'm gonna be showing you how i did the spaceship sound effect with only using this that's it i hope you find this tutorial useful and uh, um thank you for watching as usual and liking and subscribing and sharing this video and see you in the next cool videos and tutorials terra arts out out move out thank you You know what's so silly about Little Smoke? It's like a freaking Majin Buu from Dragon Ball Z. Literally. I mean, uh, Star Wars to me it's all about politics. It's all about politics. But uh, the Little Smoke, what the heck? He just like, ooh, uh, there's a republic, let's destroy it. <laughs> like a freaking Majin Buu. There's no politics in him. I see no politics inside him. He's a damn it. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I just don't like him, you know? So Kylo Ren's why? Why? Why you do this? Why you do this? <laughs> I'm talking nonsense. <laughs> oh God. But anyway, still not liking it. I, 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 don't, I don't, don't like, I don't like Little Snoke. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Ah, I think I know. Let's not spoil it. Let's just watch Rogue One and then 
the episode 8 and so on and so forth happy Star Wars day ladies and gentlemen and uh, hopefully you can be just like the Kylo Ren's after you're watching this video of course you can do the Kylo Ren's lightsaber effect so that makes you Kylo Ren's <laughs> anyway spaceship <laughs>